Launched in 2014, Citizens Giving is an annual global charitable campaign that supports young leaders in cities around the world to tackle tough challenges affecting their communities through the power of football. As part of the club's Citizens Giving campaign, former Manchester City strikers Sean Gota and Paul Dickov visited the girls' first project in the township of Kalicha in Cape Town, South Africa. My name is Anati and I'm a GRS coach and I also coach a, coach a program called Skills Banyana, which is girls' first program here in Kailicha. With the support of Citizens Giving, Cape Town's project Girls First has been able to train more than 30 young leaders to deliver specially adapted football sessions to spread life-saving education about HIV and AIDS and shaping the lives of over 600 young girls. Say, um, it helps a lot of kids like who, to boost their self-efficacy, where they can know they are, their career, and also they can know that they have potential in soccer, because some of the girls here in South Africa, they don't see their soccer as a, as a career because of the, of the olden days. Men City uh, helped us uh, a lot because uh, when we were piloting the program, we, we didn't have a transport to transport the kids uh, to, so that they can play matches. And also it helps us because we have some balls now. Men City helps us a lot because we've got also the, the kids for them to play in the field. I'm absolutely amazed by it. I mean, Citizen Giving, Giving Project is, is awesome. These kids, these girls are really inspiring. I mean, we were able to spend a little bit of time with them, but it's truly amazing, uh, you know, them showing us through what they do. It's, it's absolutely amazing. You know, the biggest thing for me is how humble they are. You know, this is the biggest township in South Africa of over a million people. Um, and the girls who are there, it's not just the football side of it, but the life skills that they're, they're learning and um, life-saving skills as well, you know, because it's teaching them a lot about the threats of alcohol and more importantly AIDS um, and HIV and things like that, you know, and what they're now doing is they're transferring that onto the younger children within the community, which is amazing. Most people love football and for me, I could say I've changed a lot uh, because of football, because football teaches you the discipline and how to respect yourself and also how to respect the others. To my community, football helped me a lot and also helped the, the community members so that they could see the changes in their studies. And also we help them a lot so that they can fitness and also be uh, healthy. They're just inspirational. You, you tend to take things for granted where, where we come from and we play football and everything else. It's not until you come to somewhere like this you see how the people are living and how the children are getting brought up and, and they need to be aware of, of the dangers that are out there. And that's what these girls, through them, them being coaches, I think there's 30 of them now, that they're going out there and, and spreading the news to younger people and, and just making them aware of the dangers that are out there. It's really great because they're, they're being empowered with this, this knowledge and information I mean, and they have like three facilities. What we see is the gravel, it's a little bit of grass, and they got the astroturf. And but at the same time, the knowledge they need to to carry themselves throughout the community, you know, making wise decisions. So why this project is very important to me, it is that uh, it changed me a lot in a way that uh, I've changed my behaviors, uh, the things that I've done in the past years. I'm no longer doing it because I've joined the, the the football club. And also, when we are working with kids, you need to be more reality, more real, and be yourself and be a role model for them. So uh, I decided to to be that person, like, in, and be a role model for them. And I'm so proud of myself because I make a change in my community and most of the kids. It's, it's absolutely phenomenal, one, what the club's doing, um, but especially for me, and more importantly, that they're getting the fans involved in it. You know, it's £400,000 this year um, that the club's put in. By the end of 2016, it'll be over a million pounds that's been invested in it. And we, we've seen it firsthand, mate, and then oh. the more fans it can do, for all the clubs it's sitting involved in, bang on.